Welcome to this video tutorial for the Triton Regional School District on how to open PowerPoint files using Office Online. I'll begin the demonstration by downloading a PowerPoint file from the web. In Google Chrome, when you download a PowerPoint file, it will go to this temporary downloads folder in the bottom left-hand corner of your browser. Now what I'm going to do is head to a new tab in Chrome and head to office.com. On office.com, I will log in with the same credentials that I always use in the district, first name, dot last name, at tritonschools.org, and then your same password. Once you're logged in, along the left-hand side of the screen, you will see all the Office tools, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. I'm going to click on the PowerPoint icon, and this will show all of my PowerPoint files that I've uploaded. Now I can simply drag and drop the PowerPoint that I've downloaded from the web and it will upload to my Office account online, and it will allow me to use Office Online to edit, present, and use this PowerPoint file. One thing to note, when you upload a new PowerPoint file, it will be in view-only mode. You can see this with the bright orange button in the top center of the screen. I'm in viewing mode. If I would like to make changes or edit this file, I will have to save this PowerPoint and make a copy of it, and that will allow me to go into editing mode. I will click Save a Copy. The saved version will open up automatically, and I will be in editing mode immediately, and now I can make changes to this file. Let's head back to office.com, and this time I will demonstrate how to upload a PowerPoint file or any Office file from your H drive or from your computer. Again, I'm heading to PowerPoint on office.com. I'll open up my file picker on my PC, head to my H drive, and then I'm simply going to drag and drop a PowerPoint file from my H drive into office.com. The same process will happen like it did before. My PowerPoint file is uploaded, and again, this will be in view only mode unless I save a copy and then it will be in editing mode and I can make any changes. Just like PowerPoint, I can go into present mode if I'd like to use this in my class. Thanks for watching this quick video walkthrough on how to open PowerPoint files using Office Online. Keep in mind an advantage of using this strategy is that you'll have access to these files on Office Online when you're not in school and can't access the H drive because the files are being stored on your online office.com account.